Welcome in all my friends and all of my new friends. Lazy Retired Granny here. Today is Tuesday, March 26, 2024. The time is 8.11 a.m. here in cloudy Salem, Oregon. I am continuing my journey <clears throat> on Diamond Art Club's Anticipation of the Day Ahead by Chuck Pinson. And this is a 36.6 inches by 27.6 inches or 93 by 70 centimeters. There are 59 colors, which includes four ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis, which are drills that have a special effect coated on them and the rate for creating extra shimmering effects on the diamond painting. And I am finishing up this lower section right here. And then I'll be moving up into this section next. So, yep. There you have it. All right. And <clears throat> it's later in the morning. I finished my coffee. But I do have under the candle lamp warm cookies which is sweet milk creamy butter and vanilla i bought this on the 40 percent off sale at hobby lobby okay and let me turn on my light here Get some light on the subject get my dollar store readers out and we are off and rolling so I just want to say that um, if you're not one of my friends I'd love to have you as a friend so just hit that friend button or as it's known subscriber button and if you like this video yeah give me the smiley or thumbs up I'd appreciate that and also you can hit the notification bell and that will tell you when my new videos come up alrighty um, what do I want to work on I think I'm gonna do these little dot things with the line I don't know what you call them uh, but it's color 8 or 321 Oh, I forgot. Well, let me finish my thought on that one. So color 321 is red. All right, that was simple enough, wasn't it? So before I lay down any drills, I want to get to some emails. And I got an email from Leslie, and she told me that Heartbeat which is a British show that it's on BritBox right now. And, you know, I don't subscribe to BritBox. I have in the past, so but they have quite a few shows on there that I want to see. And then Melanie wanted to share her recent finish, which is also on Diamonds by Tita's Facebook group. And there we go. Oh my goodness, look at all those pretty blues in there. Look at those eyes. That is a beautiful canvas. Wow, nice. And then, uh, let's see, I also got an email from Patricia. And she's doing an adorable pug. That is precious. Pugs are so cute. And it's got some bright yellow flowers there. Yeah, that's adorbs. So thank you both for sharing those. I really, really appreciate that. And then... Let's see, I also got an email. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Let's 
Is that it? I think so. The rest of the comments are on the YouTube. Yeah. So, yeah, I appreciate you guys sending in your your pictures of what you're you're working on and sharing with everybody here. I have gotten quite a few comments about <clears throat> You know, people really like that. All right, so I am on color A. Okay, so we already got that established. Oh, boy. So yesterday, I got to tell you what a fantastic day I had yesterday. So if you watched my video yesterday, you know, I had, I was going to be out and about and I had four or five stops to make. Four, and then an extra stop if I was feeling it. Um, but the good news is my first stop was from my house. It's going north to Kaiser. And so... And then I was going to go to Walmart to get my water filled up and get a few things. But Walmart is to the east of me. So then that meant I had to, you know, go around town. It takes me half an hour to get there. But anyway, so I'm on my way north to Kaiser. And I dropped off the boxes. And then about two blocks from there is the bottle drop because I had some bottles to return. And I went in there and dropping the boxes off this didn't take it didn't take me very long. And then I went to the bottle drop and my gosh, it was practically empty. Yeah, I was in and out of there in no time. So then I decided, you know what? I'm on, you know, the Kaiser edge of town. I'm just going to go ahead and go to the farm store there and pick up Ellie's, um, I get her Dr. Naylor, Naylor um, um, blah, 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 Utter Bomb. This is what it looks like. And this is the medicated. And it's an antiseptic ointment. Now, it's for cows, but you can use it on animals or, you know, other animals. But it says that it's designed to remain in prolonged antiseptic contact to reduce danger of external infection by inhibiting bacterial growth and permit clean natural healing. And then it says that it is for uh, chapped, minor cuts, scrapes, scratches, windburn, sunburn. Apply liberally, um, although with Ellie, you know, she might get a hot spot, a scratch, or whatever. I just put a little bit and rub it in. And it's a miracle because it heals up after rode it on a couple times yeah heals it right up I've been using that on her for years but we finally ran out yeah that with her that's lasted quite a few years and we were getting down to the bottom of the tin yeah it comes in a really nice tin And you just pop off the lid. And this is a new one. So there we go. And that's what it looks like. Then you just, you know, put it on your finger and rub it around. Yeah. So, and it smells good too. Mm. Ellie always has to smell it. She doesn't try to eat it. She just, you know, it's got a really pleasant smell to it 
So then I thought, <clears throat> you know, in Kaiser, it's been a number of years ago, they opened up a wear mart. And it is part of Winko. Well, when they first opened up, I went in there and looked around and I didn't like it. And they hardly had anything and the aisles were too skinny and, you know, I just didn't like it. Well, I thought, I wonder, since I'm on this part of town and it's just down the road a little ways, I wonder if they have one of those water machines inside so I can fill up my water bottles instead of going all the way to Walmart. So I went there. I thought, you know, I'm not out anything. If they don't have it, I'll still go to Walmart. And so I went in and they said, yeah, we have one. So I went outside and grabbed my water bottles. And I had two five gallons and two, three gallons to fill up. And so as I was walking back to the water machine, I thought, wow, look at their prices. They've really changed it up in here. I was really impressed. And then I remembered it was part of Winko. And uh, yeah, their prices are less expensive than at Walmart. And uh, I love their water machine. It goes really fast, so it doesn't take forever to fill up the bottles. And plus, the water was cheaper there than at Walmart. So, and at the watering machines outside, which are a pain in the drain to do. I don't like using those. So, anyway, um, so I thought, you know, I'm just going to walk around and see, you know, comparison shop and just, you know, for a few minutes. So I did that. And when I was at the feed store getting her medicine, I was walked around a little bit in their dog department to see how they their prices compared, you know, to Amazon or PetSmart or, you know, whatever, um, which I <clears throat> really wasn't that impressed. So anyway, and then I looked at their food, dog food, and uh, they didn't have too much there. So I just bought her medicine and left and yeah. So um, anyway, so that was what? One, two, three, four stops that I had made. Well, then I still had to stop by the donation center because I wanted to drop off a few things there. And that was right on my way back home. And that only took me a minute. They were right there and no line, no waiting, thank goodness. And so I got that done. And I was back home probably within two hours and that was even with goofing around looking around in the shop so I was pleased as punch because you know I didn't have to go clear across town and everything was just it's kind of a a really long road from when I get to downtown to Kaiser so you know there's no getting on other streets and traffic and all that. So that was a good thing. I was tickled. Well, then my son, who lives next door, um, he was going to take the boys to, I don't know what it's called. It's someplace they go and they have trampoline or yeah, trampolines and stuff. They jump and goof around. And uh, anyway, um, they got there and it was jam packed. So they didn't really want to go there when there was, you know, so many kids. And you have to wait and, you know, all that stuff. So then they decided they wanted to go to Costco 
And you know, Costco has that little deli thing where you can get all kinds of stuff. So they decided they wanted to go there. And uh, so um, I had called him and I missed a nine, darn it, 940. Um, because <laughs> when they left, the one boy, he was out, out of the house last and he didn't shut the front door. So I had to call David and give him a bad time. And uh, I said, well, I shut your door. Saved you from Ellie going in and <laughs> trying to visit. So um, anyway... Then he told me, you know, the place was jam-packed. The boys didn't want to go in when it was so packed like that. And so they were headed to Costco. All right, now we're going to do 10, which is 356. Medium terracotta. And I said, oh, I was going to go to Costco and get Ellie's dog food on Friday. I said, but... Can you save me a trip and just pick it up for me while you're there? And he said, sure. So that is going to save me a lot of time on Friday when I'm out and about taking care of bills and all that. So, yeah, Ellie's got her dog food, 40 pounds of dog food. <clears throat> so, yeah, so that's good. <clears throat> so yeah yesterday was a you know really a good day for me it saved me a lot of time and I got all five things done I really felt accomplished and Ellie didn't want to go with me so she was all excited when I got home. Okay, I missed a down one here. Down arrow 45. So then I got home and brought in all the water. And I had bought a couple things at Wearmark. So, got that done. Okay, let's do the V's. There's only a few V's. 26. Get those out of the way. And that is... Oh, yeah. 666. And I think that one's red. I do not like that number. Bright red. And uh, so then... What did I do after that? I did watch a little bit of TV, did a little bit of knitting, took a little nap, and uh, I did some diamond painting. And... So today, um, I've been learning some new stuff on YouTube, how to do different stuff on videos and whatnot. I really feel good about it. I am so proud of myself. <laughs> I'm trying, you know, this was the year of the changes and I am continuing on with that. I'm learning some new stuff and... Yeah, I'm experimenting with videos. So, I'm trying to transfer some videos from Facebook again over to YouTube. All right, 435. Let's see what color that is. Very light brown. So, yeah, I've learned quite a few little things, so. 
I still got a lot more to learn, but that's okay. I just want to change it up. That's what I'm all about this year. And I think I'm staying true to that. So today my goal, I don't have any <clears throat> projects around the house to do. I would like to vacu vacuum. I would like to mow, um, but the grass is wet. Although I don't think it just sprinkled a little bit yesterday, but it's still uh, damp out there. And if it doesn't, the sun came out for a little bit. I mean, like five minutes. Now it's just cloudy out there and, but it's not raining. So I'm going to let it, let the grass hopefully dry a little bit more before I get out there. Just not getting out there when it's wet. And so late this morning or early afternoon, if it's dried out enough, yeah, I'm going to drag out the lawnmower and get that done again. And you know, it doesn't matter if I have the setting on high, low, medium. It still grows like crazy. There is no rhyme or reason to it. It just likes to grow fast. So that'll be my exercise for today. And then I want to try to work on some more videos so you guys will have some more content to watch. Um, I do have some coming up of dog park action when we were going to the dog park. So you'll be able to see all kinds of puppies. I've just got a few up. I'm seeing if they're of interest or not before I, you know, transfer more over and do edits and all that. And then I've got my next one that I'll be doing will be Ellie and her mama together when she was a puppy. And these are all going to be short, so you want to be sure you have that notification bell on or go into my shorts. Yeah, I'm going to edit them down, have them all shorts. So nobody will get board with a short hopefully which the shorts are one minute or less because some of my videos are long yeah as usual I missed a line right there so let's get that taken care of quick so yeah I got that to look forward to Yeah, I'm just playing around and um, there's one star, 23, seeing what I can learn to do. So we'll see what is a success and what's a failure. <laughs> 
just never know. All right, where did that go? There it is, 57. I'm just filling in some that I missed here. Yeah, I want to finish up this section. I'm just about there. And then I can start up here, and then I'll have this whole bottom section done. Then I'm going to start on the middle section. Let's see. We got some 49s. Three, seven, a seven, six. Light mahogany. I think we've done that one before, haven't we? Sounds familiar. Ellie's snoozing. She had her breakfast, went outside. Yeah, while this is uploading, I'm going to take her outside quick in case it starts raining. She can run around. Of course, if I'm out there mowing, she'll be out there with me. She likes to be out there when I'm mowing. And what else has been going on? So if you guys want to do the same painting that, well, actually, I think Tita's going to be joining us, but Margie and I are doing it. Um, it's that painting that I got from Timu. And this one? Yeah, yeah, because Margie, I put... I put a note on it so I wouldn't forget and I have it sitting right beside me because it will be one that we do. Let me take it out of the package here. Yeah, we got this on Timu and let's see. Here's the thumbnail of it. It is a big painting. 70 by, what does that say? 70 by 40. I can't remember the price on it offhand, but I mean, it'll be a while because I need to finish this. And then I think I have a couple other things to do. And then we'll set it up, Margie. So save that, Margie. Hopefully you've got other canvases to do before we get to that. I have, yeah, I have a couple other little commitments. So, yeah, but if anybody wants to do, has the same canvas that I do, or you have one that, you think other people would like to do? Yeah, let me know. Or if you have a suggestion you want to
do something with other friends in here. I love to do canvases with people. I love sharing the craft. You know? Doing something with friends. And if you don't have a channel, um, you know, just send me pictures of the updates of the canvas that we're doing together. All right, now we've got an upside down T, which is 17, which is 436. And that is color tan. So this morning, um, I was outside with Ellie, and she decided, pitch dark outside, and she wanted to play. And it's like, I can't even see where you're at, Ellie. <laughs> so, now that it's light outside, I take her out and play with her for a little bit. She loves to play pretend. And, and tease me with her toys. I am going to get some video of her pretend playing. It is hilarious. She pretends that it's like she has a ghost dog. I just can't explain it. You just have to see it. I don't know if other dogs do that or not, but yeah, and she has done that since she was little. All right, 11, and that is 402. We don't have a lot of those. And that is... Very light mahogany. See, there's only four of them there. Ah, yay for me. I spilled out exactly four. Yeah, so I always say that she's playing with a ghost dog. I think she's playing with Charlie, our Charlie dog. All right, then we got the number eight, which is 59. Don't have a lot of those. Three, eight, six, four. Light mocha beige. I think I'm going to be able to finish this while we're doing our daily chat. Whoops. Come on. It was funny when we used to go to the dog park. <clears throat> She would only go in if her friends were there. Otherwise, she didn't want to have anything to do with going into the dog park. And we used to go every single morning. And there would be a bunch of us that met. You know, we're all seniors. <laughs> Take her dog down there. So there was, um, I don't know, I think, like, let's see, there was one. Two, three, four, I think six of us, seven with me. 
And so we got to know each other and our dogs got to know us and all the dogs got along. And when we first started going to the park, I mean, it took me forever to get Ellie to even go inside because she's such a scaredy dog. And then she met up with Tia and Tia um, is also a lab, but a golden lab. And her and Tia are about the same age. Tia is about six months older, I think. But Tia loved to chase the ball, bring it back, and then you'd, and then she would tease you with the ball, and oh, it's just hilarious. Well. Ellie, nope, she was not going to play ball. She just wanted to stand beside me. She wouldn't have anything to do with the other dogs. And, um, you know, she was just, didn't know what to make of this dog park. And, uh, and she was still a pup, but, you know, we had to, I was trying to train her. And uh, so I said, all right. Let's see, we're doing the sevens, which is 7.38. And that is very light tan. So I said, all right, um, Ellie, I'm just going to play with Tia. I'll play ball with Tia. And we have this thing. And you put the ball in it and then you take the handle and, and toss it and the ball goes sailing across the park. And uh, so I would play with Tia. And well, Ellie just watched and she'd watch Tia. Well, then one day she decided she would run with Tia and get the ball. Or, you know, go with her to get the ball. And then they came running back. Well, then Tia, she's so smart. She, oh, just unbelievable. So then I'd throw the ball and Tia and Ellie would go after the ball. Well, Tia let Ellie get the ball and bring it back. And so she taught Ellie how to do this, this little game. And we did that for a few days. And then Ellie decided, okay, she would chase, because I had a ball and a um, thrower, you know, too, just like Tia had. I went down and got the exact same thing that Natia had. So then Ellie decided that was just the cat's meow. She loved it. And that's all she wanted to do at the dog park. Two hours of doing that, if not more. She just loved it. Her and Tia. And it was really funny because... Tia's um, dad, um, Ellie would bring the ball to him to throw, and Tia would bring the ball to me to throw. We would just switch dogs, and it was so funny. I I just had so much fun. All right, 414. And, of course, Ellie had a lot of fun, too. Dark steel gray. And so, yeah, we would stay down there and and then so then we'd come home and I would try to play with Ellie at home you know throwing the ball uh-uh she would not chase that ball she just looked at me like I was crazy like um no we do not play this here we go to the dog park where my friends are at. And there was, um, 
another guy had his two little dogs because we were on the big dog side, but he had two little dogs and he would bring them over to the big dog side. And oh my gosh, they were characters. And Barney, um, oh, what a tease. And yeah, he got Ellie to, um, learn how to play chase and with them and yeah I really miss those days really but when COVID hit everybody stopped going and yeah and then I tried to take Ellie back and her, her friends weren't there because they've go somewhere else or whatever and um yeah we've just never gotten back together again and Ellie will not she refuses to go into the dog park and let her let's you know her friends are there she'll walk in look around and go back to the door she wants out but yeah, she got to be quite, she was the dog park monitor. So whenever anybody would come into the dog park, Ellie had to go over there. And if they were somebody new, she'd have to bark at them and tell them the rules and all that. And um, yeah, it, I really miss those days. Ellie was just hilarious out there. All the dogs were that we hung out with. I'm looking for the F's because I need one F. Alright, where'd it go? There it is. 48. Um, and then if we got to the dog park and, you know, because we all we all got there within about 15 minutes of each other. And uh, as people showed up, you know, Ellie knew their car and, you know, would be waiting at the door for them. And they were still in the parking lot. But she would watch because you had to go down this road past the dog park and then turn into the parking lot. And she would watch that, waiting for everybody to show up. And then she'd run to the gate so she could greet them. Yeah, I miss those days. I think I got some of that on video, so... Oops, here's another one I missed. All right, and Ellie's wanting to go outside. So let me do this one arrow to the right, 46. Now I'll let you go. I jib jibber jabbered enough, I think. I could go on and on and on and talk about my, our dog park days. So fun. And it didn't matter if it was snowing out there. Everybody showed up. <laughs> we would sit out there and freeze. <laughs> oh, All right. So, yeah. Got that bot. This first bottom part done. And then. Let me take the cover off here. So this will be the next part I do. Right there. So it looks like I finished the bridge. And maybe that's water. Let's look at the picture, see if we can tell. Yeah, so I'll be right up here. Right up here where the water's at next so this is the next section so i already did that where's the other big picture so i did these where's my pointer these bales of hay or whatever they are and i did that so we finished the bridge so now we're, yeah, we're into the water and more greenery. 
And then look what's next. Animals. Yeah, exciting. Yeah, so that's what I'll be doing next. Put my cover back on. There we go. Turn off my light. So, thank you for stopping by and keeping me company while I was diamond painting. And hopefully you were diamond painting also. And don't forget to give me your comments down below. Tell me what's going on. What's a happening, baby? <laughs> so I do appreciate you stopping by and um, being my friend. So I will talk with you later. Thanks for stopping by.